Today, I'm going to show you how to implement the HP bar in four ways, and all of them are shown on the screen. Are you ready? Let's go! Okay, in step 0, we are going to create the head-up display to show the HP text at the top left of the screen. And this has to always stick on the screen. To do that, we need this nodon. Head. Basically, this head nodon represents the camera view. And because we want to show something on the screen, right, we need to add the simple box. Because we want this to be in front of the camera view, we have to go to the properties of the box. And then we change the connection point to be from Z negative to Z positive. And in this case, it will appear right in front of our eyes. And for the properties, let's try with visible and movable first so that we can see where the box is. Okay, let's go back to the game screen. Yeah, so now you can see this box. It is always at the same position on the screen, no matter how I rotate the camera. Our objective is to add the HP text here, so yeah, let's continue doing that. So I'm adding one more box to be at the top. And because this one is on the top, I have to change the connection to be from Y negative to Y positive. Then because I want to show HP on the left, I need more box. And this one, the connection point is from positive to X negative. Let's take a look at the current state now. Yeah, so we need one more tiny box here to show HP. Let's add one more box. A tiny one for displaying the HP. And for this box, we have to set it to be invisible because we want to show the texture instead. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, now you can see a glimpse of HP there. Let me make all the other boxes invisible. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, right now we have this HP text on the top left of the screen. And this always stays there no matter how I rotate the camera. Okay, are you ready to add some numbers? Let's go to the first style, showing HP as number. In the first style, we are going to show some number for HP. To do that, we go to Objects, and then Special Objects, Number Object. Because we want this one to be at the right of the HP, we have to set the connection point to be from X negative to X positive. So this X positive is HP, right? And then the number box will be on the right. Okay, we make it visible. Not so lit, but it is movable. Then we need the input, which is the amount of HP. Let's check out my health counter. This is the health counter and the amount of HP is sent to the H part. So here I can read the value from the H part. Set the ID to be H. Then I connect the output to the input of the number. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, but now it looks pretty ugly. So we go to the configuration of the number node on, and then I change the size on the Z axis to be 0 0.1. Okay, let's take a look again. Yeah, now it looks quite nice. Yeah, and this is the first style. Let's go to the second style. The second style is a simple HB bar. To do that, we need an extending box which is at objects, special objects, extending objects, and then box. So this box can extend itself based on the value that it receives. So let me resize this one. Again, like, and we need to set the size on C axis to be small so that it looks nice. The connection point will be from X negative to X positive because we want the bar to be on the right of the HP texture. Then I connect this one to the box that shows the HP. Okay, let's take a look. 
So now we see this tiny box, but it does not represent the amount of HP, right? So again, we need to get the HP value from the wormhole exit H. And because the maximum value of HP is now currently 10, but we do not want to extend this box for 10 meters, which can be too large. So we need to add a map. So we go to meter convert map. And then we connect the output of the hash program exit to the map input. And in the map, we change the input range to be from 0 to the maximum value of health, which is 10 right now. And the output range is from 0 to 2. And we want to extend the box in x axis right, which is left right. So we have to link the output of the map to the x input of the extending box. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, now you can see our HP bar. And when we take some damages, yeah, it shrinks. But if we get some healing, yeah, it expands again. Okay, in the next step, I'm going to add multiple colors to this box. Let's go. One of the limitations of the extending box is that we cannot apply any textures. So we can only have one color per box. If we want two color on the HP bar, we need two boxes. So I'm copying this one. And then I link this one to the HP box here. And for the second box, change the color to be red. Also, let me change the first box to be green. The idea is that when the amount of HP is greater than 3, I want to show the green box. But when the amount of HP is less than or equal to 3, I want to show the red box instead. So to do that, we need to add a condition check to the hash part, which is greater than 3. So when hash is greater than 3, Like, when hash is greater than 3, we want to show the amount of hash, otherwise we will send the value 0. So here we can add the multiplication sign. And we multiply this with the health value. So, so this means that when the health is less than 3, this will be equal to 0, and the output here will be 0 as well. So the box here will shrink. Okay, let's take a look. So now I have taken some damages. When the health is less than 3, you see it will shrink to the smallest size. We also need to extend the red box. We have to extend the red box. When HP is less than or equal to 3, we can simply add not node on here. And when this condition is not true, we will extend the red bar. So we connect the not output. And then we also connect the length of the bar to this calculator and we feed the output into the X of this extending box. Let's test it. So here you can see that the amount of HP keeps dropping and then it will turn red. And when I go to the hearing ring, it will keep increasing and it becomes green again. But you can see that when red is shown, like, I can still see a little bit of the green bar here. So to fix the overlapping green box over the red box, we need to make sure that when this condition is here is 0 or when the condition here is 1, we have to send the negative value to the green box. To do that, we add another multiplication node on, and then we add a negative number here. Let's use negative 1 here. And then we link this to input 1 of the calculator. We want to send the negative value to the first box. When the first box is not shown, so we link the output of the not node on to the second input here. And then the output of this calculator is sent directly to the export of the green box. Okay, let's test it. Yeah, let's take some damages. Oh no, she's crying. Yeah, now you see when it has become red. We can no longer see the green bar. Yay! 
In the last style, I want to show four hearts when I'm at the maximum health. So I I need if I need four hearts, I will need four boxes to store those four hearts. So let me copy some box. And because this box has to be on the right of the HP box, I have to change the connection point to be from X negative to X positive. Then I link this one to the HP box. Then I need I add a few more until I have got four box. Then I have this hard texture here, right? I have to make sure that the texture face is Z center. Then I link the heart to the box. I repeat to four of them. But we do not want to show all the four hearts all the time, right? We only want to show four hearts when the HP is 10. And like, we only want to show one heart when the HP is really low. So we need to control the visibility. And to do that, we need the marker node on. Extend. When you view this as a full HP bar, when you have half of the HP, you will only want to display these two hearts. But if you have a quarter of the HP, then we will only display this one heart. And so we have to detect how much HP we have on this extended bar. Yeah, we need to add some boost eye no done. We go to the boost eye setting. We change the output to be digital because the output will be whether to show or not to show. And we set the range to be from the small value to 1. And the boost eye shape is rectangle because our marker nodon has the rectangle shape. And then we copy 4 of them. We connect the output of the first boost eye to the first heart. And the second one to the second heart and so on. So this means when the HP is filled until here, only the first heart will be displayed because the other boost eye will read the value of 0. In the next step, we have to control the marker nodon by the amount of HP. So here we need the wormhole exit H because H sends the amount of HP we have. But because the H range is from 0 to 10, but the marker nodon is only from 0 to 1, so we need a map. And this map will change from the input of 0 to 10 to the output of 0 to 1. Connect the output of the map to the marker node on. Okay, so now we are at full health. The marker is filled until here. So this is for the first style, but let me add some touch up. In the intro, you can see some bumping effect. So in the touch up, I'm going to add a bomb effect when a heart is destroyed. So I go to objects and then special objects and then effects. Then uh, explosion. I resize it. Then go to the setting. I want the effect location to be the world because I do not want the explosion to fill my camera view. And the properties is invisible. The connection point is from center to center. Then I connect this one to the box that has the heart texture. When do we want to activate this? We want to activate when the value here changes from 1 to 0. So we need not no down here. And we send the marker amount to the input of the knot. And then the output of knot to this explosion. So this means when the boost eye becomes zero, with the not node on, it will become one, and that will trigger the explosion. And we are going to add these to all of the four hearts. Yeah, you can see the bumping effect. Yay! And then our hearts will come back once we got recovered. And those are four different styles to show HP. In the future tutorial, I will show how to show the HP bars on the person nodons and also on enemy nodons. Please subscribe so as not to miss future updates. Lastly, if you need any specific tutorials, let me know in the comments. 
It's time to say bye. See you next time.